Hello, for this video, I am going to make a program that will multiply two integers without using the asterisk or this symbol as a multiplication operator. Now, the logic of multiplication is just a repeated addition of a number. For example, if we multiply 10 by 5, we can get the same result by doing 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 so we are just adding it five times and this can be done by using recursion so first i am going to write the program the main program and this is where the program asks for an input from the user so we can either use args of zero and args of one or by the use of scanner but in this example i am going to use the command line arguments which i have first mentioned so let's have int x is equal to integer that parse int then args of zero we are using integer that parse int because the args here was first initialized with the string and we want to convert the string into an integer data type because we are multiplying two integers here the same also with the variable y just copy that one then args of one Okay, then we have int ants, which calls the method multiply. We will implement that later on. Multiply the variable x and y. And then we will print that out. System print out. Okay. So let's proceed to the uh multiply method which we have put here the static int multiply then declared the variable x and y this is where the value will be stored then i am going to make a base case so if x is equal to um, zero or y is equal to zero it should return the value of zero because um, any number being multiplied to zero is equal to zero okay else if um, x is equal to one it should return the value of y because any number uh, being multiplied by 1 gives the same result as the number itself. Then else, return multiply x minus 1, y plus y. So, this is where the recursion approach comes in, or the recursive case. So, if example, if we have um, x is equal to 4 or y is equal to 4 then it skips this part and also this one and directly goes to this one so um, it the the multiply here calls itself until it satisfies the condition so basically what it does is if uh, y of 1 plus y of 2 plus up to the value of y y of a so it adds y x times okay so let's try to run this program our run configurations because the program asks an input from the user so let's try to multiply uh, 3 and 4 okay so 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So that's it. Thank you for watching.